Hey there, Robbie, W1RCP here, and today we're talking about the Elecraft KX2 internal battery option, and this is what the battery looks like. It's small, and it fits inside the KX2, but it can also be used externally just the same. Now, some other batteries that you can use externally would be a BioNO. This one's a three amp hour. Of course, I got this when I bought the radio from a guy. It came, came with it. it was, it's not something that is included in a KX2 purchase. This is another one that I've used for external battery. It's eight AA batteries. This will last about an hour and a half or so. Then there's my wonderful Meity six amp hour. I don't know if you can find the six amp hour anymore. Um, I think they have an eight amp hour, but the prices are going up. But again, this was not going to fit inside the KX2. So this video is to show you how to make a less expensive battery for the KX2. Let's start by comparing prices. The left side shows an order from Elecraft for two of their batteries. It comes out to $138 and some change. So that's $69 for each battery. I can build two for $72, which comes out to $36 each. And that includes all of the shipping charges. So now let me show you how to put this together. Step one is to go shopping. So on the left side at DigiKey, you can get the Dantona Industries. Two of them is going to cost you about $68 and some change. Then you can get the 2.1 millimeter by 5.5 millimeter male barrel DC plug for just a few dollars for a couple off of eBay. Once the parts come in, it's time to rip open these boxes and bags. And you have two batteries and your connectors. Of course, I only bought two. You'll buy more. And you can see this is the two batteries next to the Elecraft battery. And the first thing is I put two pieces of heat shrink, a large piece, and then a smaller piece on the hot wire. Next, you're going to solder the two connections. And this is pretty easy. Red goes to the tip. Black goes to the sleeve. And then you heat shrink the smaller piece over the hot wire to make sure that it's insulated. Then slide the bigger piece of heat shrink over all of it and heat shrink that down. And then you can slide it up and screw it together. And then you have a finished battery. I mean, it's pretty simple. Then you do it again for the other one. So if this is something that you have done or if this helps you, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is W1RCP Rob.